The next information is parts list. Double click. This is our bill of material. We have 221 parts here. And we have, uh, as I said, a huge library of parts that we, what we do is we have librarians that will gather data sheets of different uh, components and input them in our library on a daily basis. So that list is always growing. So the chances are that when you sync your components with your parts list with our library, there's some component that we may not have that uh, in our library. You have two choices, either to get together all the uh, part numbers for those components that you don't have or we don't have in our library, send them to us in an Excel format type of a thing, and then we'll send it to our librarians and uh, they will add those into the library and then it will be there for you. If not, you need to do it yourself. So for example, let's say, I'm gonna just grab a random part here. If you want to uh, check the information on one of these parts, right click, edit properties. You can see here that we uh, have a lot of information here. We have the ID, which goes over the part type, part number, and that type of a thing. And then we have the package tab, which we go over the package properties of the component. The location, of course, is uh, self-explanatory. The lead information, so if this is a lead list right now, so we don't really track a lot of uh, information on lead, but if it was a leaded material, we would have all these tables filled out. And if you don't know any of these parameters or you need more information on any of these parameters, you can click on this little question mark next to that parameter and it will open up a uh, information page on a lot of time with a picture that shows the information that we are looking to see. And some of these, they even have a hyperlink here that if you click on it for this example, it will open up this uh, PDF on uh, packaging. So if you're weak in the packaging department, this PDF by itself is going to add a lot of value uh, to your project. And then the pad information, which is the, uh, the pad that is sitting on the uh, board, the solder information, the thickness of the solder, the solder model, these are the important information that we have. Now, you can see that a lot of this information right now is just as guess. Sherlock is a very good guesser, but again, at the end of the day, it's a guess. You always need to confirm anything that says uh, it is guess. So if you want to, for example, input one of these uh, uh, information, one of these uh, component information yourself, you need to find the, uh, data, the uh, data sheet, which I have an example here. So for example, let's say the component that we opened up is this guy here. So it has the packaging information. So what we need to do is look at the uh, packaging information, the width and length of the package, the uh, shape of the uh, lead, which is a J lead here, and then uh, the uh, information on the lead. All this information will go in here. So you will put all the package information here. You will put all the, uh, the uh, lead information here. So change the lead geometry to a J lead and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna go over the details here, but to give you an overall understanding of how this works. So you can see, if you have a lot of components that you need to gather all this information yourself, it's gonna be time consuming and times could be frustrating. Sometimes this information doesn't, uh, it's not just there out there in front of you. So what we do, I will do control A to select all of my components and click on this button, the uh, second from uh, the left on top here, it says update the parts list from part library. And then you can sync it with your local part library or you can sync it with a global part library. So usually we wanna sync it with a global part library unless we do have some components in our local library. So Sherlock part library, update parts list. And as long as you have the manufacturer part number listed here, the chances are we do have those components in our in our part library. So right now you can see 221 parts out of 221, luckily, are in the part library. Good, so anything that turned green, that means the information came from the uh, part library. Now, if I go back to that C10 component, you can see these information here under the lead, it came from Sherlock part database, right? These are, uh, confirmed information, right? Always, always go over these. If it's something that says guess, double check that to make sure that information is correct. Again, Sherlock is a very good guesser, but you don't want to trust it 100%. Now, 
we have our parts list, pretty much our building material. So there is everything that we need to know about our components are listed here. Everything that we need to know about our layers are listed here in our stack hub. 